So, Sharkbait, what do you think? Let's do it. And on that note, we cue the music. Proceed with the countdown. In five, four, three, What's up everyone, it's been a while since I put up a review but I'm back with Insidious the Red Door directed by first time director Patrick Wilson who also plays the dad Josh in the Insidious trilogy. It stars Ty Simpkins, Patrick Wilson, Rose Byrne, Andrew Astor, Steve Coulter, Joseph Bishara, Wan Nell, Angus Sampson, and Lin Shea. This takes place nine years later after Insidious Chapter 2 and finds the oldest son Dalton going to college while his parents are divorced. This film pretty much centers around the dad Josh and his son Dalton while the mother and other characters from the franchise make brief appearances. A new character is introduced who we meet at Dalton's new college he goes to that is part of the main plot pretty much. I won't say much more about the plot but I do want to say that this keeps true to the original first two films with the scares, creepiness and unsettling moments that will have you on the edge of your seat. The main three from the family do a great job as they always have along with the other characters we are very familiar with. I honestly wish they never did those two other films after Chapter 2 because they should had stuck with completing the trilogy instead of doing the other films. It honestly kinda worked that they waited 10 years to do another because of how well written this one was and where Dalton and his family are now in their lives. All in all, this was a great end to their story and I would highly recommend you guys go and check this out. With that said, I give Insidious the Red Door a solid 9.5 out of 10. There is my review, you're welcome. Hey guys, my friend Justin has a YouTube channel where he does lots of movie reviews, gameplay videos among other cool things like his entertainment road trip series, so please go check out his channel, it's called JJ Lomas Entertainment. My other friend Thomas also has a YouTube channel called Sanctum of Cinema where he talks about a wide range of topics having to do with movies, reviews a lot of the newest films he sees and even shows off some of the really neat physical media he picks up from stores. You don't want to miss out on the content from these two awesome people. The links to their channels are in the description below. And as always, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to join the Laundromatty B Express. Thanks for stopping by guys, later.